Hey, y'all. Welcome and welcome back. Oh my gosh, it's time for more Pleasant View. What the heck? Yes. Okay, we are playing the other Pleasants now. Okay, so after divorcing, Daniel is again married with child. Kaylin is pursuing her passion for paranormal while raising their babies together. So they have three kids together. Okay, they have Jeff Pleasant, the oldest, this one right here. All right, they have Gibby Pleasant right here, the, the toddler, and they have Zane Pleasant, the baby. Okay. Um, yeah, Daniel's a serial monogamist. So he jumped right into another relationship with Kaylin and had a whole other family. Like, it just wasn't good enough for him to have two teenage daughters. He needed to have, like, babies again. And so now he does. Um, okay. So here's Daniel. What's his lifelong? Oh, to become a Hall of Famer, is he? Oh, he's almost there. He just needs one more family friend. Okay. Dance with Corbin. Be friends with Corbin. Woohoo in bed. Yeah, make a friend. We need to lock that in. Kaylin, what are you doing? Uh, Kaylin, she wants to graduate three children from college. So we'll see if we can get if we can get all three of these guys graduated from college. Uh, they want some friends. Logic level, okay. And then we've got the baby. All right. Um, we need to change it to fall. So where's their doodad? You can see I'm trying my best to accommodate all of these children in this tiny house. Um, Pleasant Views houses do not accommodate these large families that I end up um, having. <laughs> uh, is this their thing? No, that's the day of the week one. Where's the green one? Mm, or maybe that's just a decoration. Where is it? Did I not put one in this house? Yeah, I just, I don't see one. Maybe I really didn't. Yeah, because they need all their counter space. I can't put it there. Okay, well, oh, and then we have two baby rooms. Okay. Um, let's get those. Yeah, this one. Can I go on top of any of this stuff? We're gonna need a bedside table, I guess. Okay, let's put a bedside table over here. Thank you, that was really good. Um, yeah, actually I could use water refresh, I appreciate it. All right, let's do a bedside table. Um, doesn't have to be too fancy. I think it can be like something little. Vintage. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Yeah, what about this? It kind of matches their dresser. Not the, not color-wise, but otherwise. Okay, and then we can put this on the bedside table. Okay, now that we're back in live mode, let's play. And then no interactions available. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna set it to fall. All right, so now we're at fall. We're 6 a.m. Friday, okay, perfect. All right, the babies are playing. What is this? Oh, this is homework. Does Jeff want to do his homework? No, he wants to be friends with Dan. Okay, Kaylin wants to kiss Daniel. Where is Daniel? Oh, he's dealing with the baby. Okay, put the um, put Zane in the crib. And then Kaylin, come kiss your man. Not hug. Oh my gosh, kiss, romantic. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, she wants to have another baby. 
What is wrong with you, Kaylin? She wants to gain a skill point, but she doesn't need any. <clears throat> oh, he wanted to go potty. Uh, sorry, you can go upstairs. Sorry, she sat down first. That was like a little, that was a little switcheroo. That was a little, like, a little fake out with that kiss there. Like, oh, yeah, I get to use the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, so he has to go to work. Does she go to work today? Not till 11. So he's going to go to school. And we have a toddler and a baby, so they won't go to school, of course. All right, put Gibby in the crib. Have a good day at school, Jeff. Okay, they're both going. <clears throat> Does Kaylin have vacation days? She has like 10 vacation days. Holy crap. She's going to call work and um, call out sick. Use her vacation days. No, not quit. Hmm. I guess she'll just have to stay home. I, was I don't think... I guess maybe there's not a way to, like, declare your vacation days before you use them. I, I guess you just stay home. Yeah, well, she's not going to get in that carpool. Um, get some leftovers. You're hungry. Yes. Oh, I need to pay my bills. Always, always. Mm, no, Daniel's not available. Okay, we are gonna get mail. I used to be just like you, Lucy. And I know what you're doing with Dawn. I know what you're doing with Dawn because I did it too. There's no shame in it, but like... Understand, he doesn't really care about you. He doesn't really. It's, it's just Dawn. He can't help it. Alright, you don't need to read the paper. You need to let your child out. Oh, child's already out. Okay. Um... Okay, we could do a little bit of a potty train interaction. Oh, he's actually getting close to... Okay, I must have been potty training him all along. And she wants to invite someone over. Okay, let's see who she's friends with. I don't even remember. I don't even remember who she's friends with. Let's see. Okay. Okay, she doesn't have high relationship with really anybody. Um, let's invite over Angela Broke, though. Oh, Angela's at work. Okay. Let's try again. Mm, maybe Dustin? There we go. Invite over. Food. <gasps> they don't have any relationship at all. Okay, really? Her only friend is Jessica, the, the criminal. Okay, well, let's invite over the criminal. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Couldn't hurt. There we go. Okay, so she's glad about that. Oh, she still wants to invite- you just invited someone over.
Oh, this lot's kind of big. They have a car. It's all the way over here. Man! Hey, Jessica. One of the criminals in town. Um, let's do... Talk. Hang out. Alright, can you hold Zane? He's, uh, he's dipping below green and I'm not sure why. He's not crying about anything. It's funny that there's like hatred there, but she's also got the highest, um, the highest uh, relationship with her. Must be, they must need a bottle. And they're just not a very fussy baby. You don't need skill points, you need a family friend. We're trying to get one for you right now. Oh, hey, there's Nina. <laughs> Geekstra, hello! <laughs> uh, how's it going? <laughs> What's up? Sim's up! <laughs> um, we're playing the, the Daniel Pleasant and Kaylin right now. Good! I'm good. Just having a nice, chill Sunday. Having a nice, chill Sunday with some Sims, you know? Okay, so yeah, you just stay home to use a day of paid vacation. I think she's going to do that instead of calling nannies. I think that's, like, way easier. Man, are they not going to become friends because of... Oh, no, they did become friends. Oh, oh, that was a play interaction, whatever. Mm, let's play catch. And we can uh, say goodbye. You need to eat. Zane's birthday is only a day away. Okay, let's get him a cake. Yeah, Geekster, did you do anything fun this weekend? Or just chill out? Oh, shoot, I missed Gibby's birthday. Dang it. Hi, Gibby. Gibby's a child now. Okay. Oh, they're hungry. We need to make more food. Actually, no, we're just because we're just going to have the cake. I guess because we got the prompt last time and I just totally didn't check. All right, um, why don't you bring Zane to the cake? I went gambling all weekend, stayed two nights at the casino resort, it was fun, but I lost all the money I went up with. Isn't, isn't, doesn't that mean you're doing it right? That's how gambling's supposed to go? I was never much for, um, gambling, but last cruise I went on, I had $25 of free play. I used it, lost it all, it didn't even last an hour. <laughs> it was fun, um... 
it was fun, you know. Casino resorts are always like amazing, right? Because they have everything because they don't want you to leave. So it's like the resort is always so beautiful, right? I go up with the expectations of losing it all. You have to, right? You have to. All right. Let's see. Are all these children redheads? I think all of them are redheads. All three. Even though they're Kaylin's their mom, they all got Daniel's red hair. Okay, we're just going to pretend this is dual birthday for Gibby and for Zane. There we go. Okay. And um, I know y'all want more kids, but... Um, Kaylin, I think we're going to put you on birth control. Y'all don't need more kids, for real. Um, do I have... I don't think I have the adjuster. Okay. Um, where is that? I think it's miscellaneous, miscellaneous. No. Oh, I remember. I have to click on the sim and spawn adjuster. Zoom to adjuster. This is it? Ah, there it is. Okay, it was one of the bushes. I knew it was going to be. Okay. Um, Kaylin, we need to do sim settings, pregnancy. Yeah, oh, birth control is on. Okay, good. I must have done that last time. <laughs> okay, because they continue to want babies. Have you ever gone Gambling Geekstra where you did come back winning? I mean, even though you always would assume that you're not going to, like, has it ever happened to you in the times that you've gone? Oh yeah, many times. Oh, nice! So sometimes you do win, but you just can't expect it. Okay. I gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, I've never been to one of those, but those resorts always look so fancy. So I've thought about it. Went up three consecutive days once, won about 900 each day. Wow! How much did you, is that more or less than what you were spending um, each night for the staying in the resort, though, and the food and everything? Did you basically, because that sounds like you could be like maybe a break even, you know, or a little bit above even. So that would be really impressive. Oh, yeah, I need to fix their bed situation. Okay, wait, wait, pause, 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 pause. Okay, we don't need the baby stuff anymore. Well, no, we need one baby. Okay, we don't need two baby stuff anymore. Okay, and we can have, we have this bedroom, this bedroom. We have this bedroom, like this. Okay. Um, Gibby. Yes, you can go to bed. Your energy is really low, too. You can go to bed. I don't know what beds I assigned to them, so hopefully this works, and they actually will go to bed. Okay, are they going to go? Yes, they will use those rooms. Okay, so we have, pl we have plenty of rooms. They're just very small. Everybody does have their own room here, but it's just small. Okay. And then we can turn this room into something like an office or something for their extra stuff. Okay, I'm going to send him to shower up here. That weekend, when I won close to 3,000, I just drove up each day. Oh, so you really came out on top. The week was all free because it was all comps. Oh, nice. Okay, so you came out super on top that time.
Okay, we're gonna do a potty train with Zane. Okay, Zane's energy is not that good, but like I don't want him to pass out on the floor. So I'm gonna put him in the crib. Yeah, you drank that bottle and it's gross anyways. Put Zane in the crib. I went up with 300 this week and came home with 80, so I guess it wasn't a total loss. No, that's not total loss. That's not too bad. That sounds like you had fun. You know, you didn't like lose-lose, but you didn't like win everything either. You know, so it's probably like really entertaining. Okay, everybody's in bed. First day done. Got a, a lot of young kids in this house. It's kind of chaotic. Oh, Zane's a very calm baby. Seems like he'll just play in the crib. Okay, we need to get a bottle for him, though. You see me. Is he going to work today? He is going to work today. Oh yeah, he basically works weekends as a coach. Okay. He's gonna reach Hall of Famer though. Man, Daniel for being such a bad person has actually had a really good life. Tons of kids. Which is all he ever wanted. By two different ladies. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, he woke up early because he's an elder. That's right. Here, go be a man and unclog the toilet. Thanks, Daniel. Mm, she's gonna serve some omelets for breakfast. For Saturday breakfast. All right, omelet time, friends, or family. Omelet time, family. <laughs> Let's see what random ass place she's gonna put the fifth plate. I don't even know. She might go eat it on the couch because it'll be her plate since she's serving. Oh no, because this one's a toddler. So that shouldn't happen. Let's see, oh no, she is. She's gonna go eat on the couch. Oh, wait, no, that was this one. Oh, Gibby, you know, you can eat this omelet that you already chose. You were the one in the shower. Go eat. All right, boys, you need to feed the worm rat. Fill the food dish after you eat breakfast. All right, Kaylin, put away the leftovers.
Gosh, all these red-haired children, even though their mom's got black hair. It's just crazy. Sim genetics is crazy. See, Daniel loves kids. He does not love teenagers. I think that's that's his core problem. And then he's like tired of the wife by then, so it's like, okay, bye. I'm curious if he'll want to cheat on Kaylin since he's an elder now. Or if that won't really happen. Okay, she's supposed to go to work at 11. But we've got kids still, so... I think she's gonna stay home. Stay home for her weekend days. She can go into work Tuesday. Because Daniel won't be working. Yeah, I think she's just gonna keep using her vacation days. Hey, what do the kids want to do? Be friends with Dan. Okay. Let's um invite this Dan kid over. Thane, why are you why why? Why are you why? Oh, it's Dan Burb. Okay, okay. That's the child from John and Jennifer, their youngest. Um, yeah, your friend can come over too. Okay, you need to... Yeah, you need to throw that away. Let's see, who's your friend? He brought over a full-ass adult. Andrea. No, Andrea, you can't play with the kids. Let's see. Uh, greet Andrea. Hi, what are you doing over here with this child? That's weird. Um, yeah, no. I thought it would be another kid. Yeah, that's a funny joke, but you gotta go. Yeah, don't leave, Kaylin. Don't go to work. You yeah, take another PTO day. Don't worry, you'll eventually be able to go to work again and get a promotion, Kaylin, someday. Eventually the kids will be in school and they won't need you every day. Oh, they're friends! He wants to be best friends. Okay. Also wants to gain a skill point. Um, let's go outside. Because it's fall. It's going to be nice. Cool, but not, uh, not cold yet outside. And let's play some jump rope. Oh, but your friend's going to stay inside and watch TV. Where is he going?
Oh, you're cleaning up after your mom. Oh, that's sweet of you. Oh, he wants to gain a skill point too. He can go jump rope. Why don't you go jump rope with your brother? What is the friend doing upstairs? Oh, jumping on the bed. He's literally jumping on their parents' bed. The heck. Okay, he wants to win a game against Dan and be best friends with Dan. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's all those babies. What's happening? Oh, it's a doctor show. It's a doctor show. Okay, she's watching Grey's Anatomy. I get it. She got to get caught up with the Shonda Rhimes, you know. She turns off the weird doctor show to talk to her kid. <laughs> oh, he got the jump rope point. Okay. Oh, he wants to keep get. Oh, he wants to get logic points. They need a telescope for that. Do they have one? They don't have one, but they could have one. There we go. Okay, it fits. Does it work though? <laughs> Let's try teaching Zane to walk. Child, you can answer the phone. Uh, no, Daniel's at work. Malcolm, you keep calling for Daniel. But he's at work. <gasps> what? Dan, it, you've only been here during the day. It's not even nighttime. How are you so tired? I must have messed something up at the end of their round last time. <gasps> Yay, he got Hall of Famer! Oh my gosh, he's got platinum permanent. Platinum is permanent for him. What is his hobby? Sports? Of course it's sports. So Daniel, you can do whatever you want with your life. You've earned it. By having five children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loves his kids. Daniel loves his kids at least. Oh, did he get did he get a logic point? I guess he must have. Oh, you can come you can come back in this way. Okay. Are you stuck now? I don't know what he was stuck on. Why is the baby outside? Oh, <laughs> because she had to go interact with him. Oh, she wants to win a game against Gibby and Jeff. Why do you want to win against your children, Kaylin? We're trying to teach this child to walk. Oh, it's raining now. We should probably... Oh, it didn't last long. Yep, she's going to keep using days of paid vacation. Oh, what? Are, wait, what is his schedule now? Oh, he's off. He's off on the weekends, so she could actually go in. Oh, 
Does she work tomorrow? She does not work tomorrow, though. Okay, so she could go in on Monday. I think. Yeah, because he does not work. Okay. Because some of the kids will be... Like, though this one... Like, he'll go to school and he'll go to school. But the toddler... Yeah, four days they won't go to school. <clears throat> Who's sleeping on the couch? Oh, this child. I guess they tired him out with the jump rope. Alright, this poor baby Zane, he seems to learn very slowly. I was trying to teach him to walk, but it was like going really slow, and when the potty trains look like they go really slow too. Maybe the telescope really isn't working and he keeps trying to do it. I guess the porch that porch is too small. I thought it could work, but I guess not. Here, we'll put it down here on this landing. Sorry I've been wasting your time, child. Let's try to stargaze now. See if it works. Okay, yeah. It just that that uh the little balcony area is just too small. It doesn't fit most things. I think he can do the, the punchy thing if he wants to, though. Okay, but let's cook dinner. There's not enough leftovers, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a chef salad. Eat your food, child. <laughs> oh, he can't get around to it because Kaylin scooted out. That's why. Okay, can you pick up this plate? There we go. Oh, he's thinking about grandkids already? Why are you thinking about grandchildren? You are a child yourself. Okay, yes, I know you are tired. Go to bed, children. Zane, here's your, here's your food. Okay, come get this bottle. I know you're tired, but eat first and then you can go to bed. Alright, get in the crib, Zane. Don't worry, Kaylin's coming to get you. Okay, where's Daniel? Oh, he's taking a bubble bath. Well, he can go to bed, too. Okay, you know what I need to do? <gasps> oh no, a burglar! Do I have a burglar alarm? Okay, yes, I do. Russ. 
Russ Bear, you... <laughs> now everyone's woken up. Congratulations. Yep, you are foiled by this cop who is... What is this? Raymond. Okay. Yep, baby fell back asleep. You guys can go back to sleep, too. You do not need to stay up for this. What are you doing? Oh, shower. You're funny. Okay, this is lasting forever. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Don't worry, you guys. You have a burglar alarm, so you're good to go. Okay, they're back. They're back in bed. You also, you kids also need to get back in bed. I guess they felt greasy. Why is this still going off? Oh, because the cop is coming back. He's going to turn it off. Burglar's been caught. 500 simoleon reward. Thank God we have a burglar alarm. I got really scared for a second that we didn't. That was about to be a panic. Okay, who's awake? Everybody's asleep. Oh, the baby's awake. See if I can make it into doing a potty train. Can Daniel be quick enough? Okay, I made it. I really didn't think I would. Why? Wait, why is it not working? It didn't work. Let's try again. He barely went. Even though he definitely has to go. There we go. Now he for real went. See, this is how you do it, Zane. Just like Daniel's doing right now. They want a new- you want a new family member? You have enough family members. These sims. Like, these sims would just max out. They would just max out all the family that would fit in the house if you let them. Alright, is there leftovers? I think there's enough leftovers that we can just do that for breakfast. Yeah, because there's omelet and there's salad. All right, Daniel, come get an omelet. Okay, he's not hungry, but he is. Alright, did he wake up? Yeah, he woke up. Alright, it's Sunday! She wants to woohoo. 
Oh, he wants to woohoo. She wants kiss. Okay. Well, let's get them going. Let's go relax. Okay, this child wants to gain a skill point. We don't know what his hobby is. We should probably find out. Where's my, um, where's the little flower that I usually put? Oh, they don't have a corner spot in their kitchen. Oh, but it's right here. It's right here. Okay. Let's do info one, two, hobby. It's tinkering. Okay. He can't do anything with that as a child. <laughs> he can't do anything with that, but we can do a look through the telescope for a point. He also has gain a skill point. And also it's tinkering. Okay. Well, let's go um go out here and jump rope for him. Oh, Gibby. Gibby, stop. Sorry, I didn't click you quick enough. There we go. Oh, they both have the day off. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why does Kaylin have no actions with Zane? Is it because she's up there upstairs in bed right now? Well, get out of bed. You need to interact with your child. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get her down here. Huh? No. They went to sleep right after. That was the problem. Mm, let's do play. Toss in air. Okay, he wants to be tickled. Okay, oh, he's, um, he's done with that. Oh, he still wants to gain more skill points so he can do that. Oh, they're best friends! Okay, where are you doing? Or how are you now? Oh, snuggled. Oh, but you're really tired. Okay, we need to get a bottle for him and then put him to bed. Why? Why outside? Sims. All right. Put Zane in the crib. He didn't make it to the bottle we tried. Oh, he got a little bit of it. All right, thank you for cleaning. See what's Daniel doing? Oh man! He wants to talk to Mary Sue. Daniel. Okay, we can call her. Why are you thinking so much about Mary Sue and Nina?
We're gonna just talk. Okay, that's all he wanted. He just talked to her and now he's he's good. What? What is she doing? She like keeps tucking him in over and over. Oh, he's still jump roping. You can stop that now. <laughs> he wants to see the ghost of Russ. Oh my god. <gasps> Russ in jail. Russ is in jail right now. Is the bookshelf not reachable? Oh, okay. Wait, we have to put the baby's toys then in here. And we need to scoot this back. Oh, hello, lady. I hear you. All right, get up. Yep, and then let's scoot this back. Okay, now... Oop, I didn't mean to zoom in. There we go. Now can he do... Hey, lady. How are you? I don't see her. I heard a little meow, but I don't see her. What are you doing? Oh, there you are. Hi, lady. Come here. I give you some pets. I had no idea they couldn't reach the bookshelf. I just figured they could walk around the chair, but I guess not. Who is Elise? Oh, this child's almost... Okay, let's do a little potty train interaction. Because he is almost, like, good on his energy. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Um, we also need to get him a bottle, because he's hungry. Tried to get him a bottle before and it just did not work out. Wait. Why? Why, why, why? There we go. It's like, you're not blocked, Daniel. You can go around. You wanna see lady? She knows I'm gonna pick her up. She doesn't want to right now. Lady. You don't want to? You sure? It'll be okay. This lady. See, I got you. It is not scary. You need a lot of pets. That's what you want, all the head scratches. Yeah. Why are you doing airplane ears at me? Are you unhappy? 
Okay, we can get down. Okay, there you go. I know, you tolerate my bullshit. Oh, only two days left before Jeff and Zane's birthday. Oh, he's got six. Okay, so we could do their birthdays tomorrow. Just have to remember. So Monday will be pretty eventful for this family. What are they doing? Oh, <laughs> really? Of course they were. Okay, let's do a little flirty flirt. <laughs> oh, that got rid of the talk one. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Stop clicking that. Okay. We're good. You want to interact with um Jeff. Where where is he? That's Gibby. There's Jeff. Uh play. Swing around. They have to go around the back, I guess. That's the space to do it. You have to have so much space to do the swing around interaction. I didn't mean to hit the mic like that. There we go. We can swing around on the porch. Why are you relaxing in the bed still? You're hungry. Come eat some food. You're hungry too. Oh, why are you in bed already? Oh my gosh, these kids are so tired. oops, I went. Mm. Oh, he wanted chef salad. Nice. We're gonna have to cook a new meal at some point because I think that's only like one serving of salad left. All right, you guys can go to bed. Oh wait, Kayla needs more food. Yep, that was the last plate. I knew it. Okay. Um, oh, let's try to do a potty train real quick. I know you're tired. Nope, it didn't work. She's too tired. We're just gonna have to change the diaper in the morning. Wait, why? No, put Zane in the crib. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, Daniel's going to wake up so early. 
Yeah, I knew it. 3 a.m. Jeez. Okay. How's he doing now? Okay, pretty good. I think... Let's try to empty this. And can we be quick enough? I don't know. Yeah, we can't. I knew it. Okay. Stop that. Stop that. And change Zane's diaper instead. Okay, at least these guys will sleep till 6. You know what I need to do? I need to actually go through and check on these. Okay. Oh, she doesn't have any? But she's got, like, the slower decay on it. Okay. I don't know why this household is having such trouble with um, the timing. I don't know why. Something about, like, this household is just, like, the vibes are exhausting. <laughs> the vibes are exhausting for them. I don't know. Oh, he wants a hot tub. Okay, well, we can get the hot tub. There. Right at the end of the porch. Oh, he wants to learn lifelong happiness and physiology. Okay. Meow queen. Meow queen, hello. What? You're very far away. I can't pet you that far away. There you go, kitty. I don't know, why did I put a door there to this, like, nothing room? It's like a storage closet or something. Why did I do that? This nothing room right here. It has a door on it. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's Monday, so they have to go to school. You wake up. Your brother's gonna come talk to you. He's gonna come talk to you first thing when you wake up. Hi, brother. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to talk? I guess he's okay with it. Okay, so they'll both go to school. We should... Oh, it's still two days, because I can't do it until 6 p.m. today. Okay. So 6 p.m. When they come home from school, then we'll do the birthday. For him and for the toddler. That'll make things so much easier. Okay. Yeah, and he doesn't have to work today. She does go to work today, so hopefully she'll get the promotion. You need to come down and uh, feed the feed the worm rat. Okay, you can play peekaboo with the uh, with Zane. No, I want him. I want them to play peekaboo. Who's the 
Okay, now you can go to school. Okay, when does she go to work? At 11. Let her have some cereal. Okay, Daniel has the day off, so Daniel will watch Zane. Okay. Kaylin's finally able to go to work again for the first time in so long. Alright, go, go put Zane in the crib. You can finish the lifelong happiness in a second. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks for cleaning. Okay, um, let's go back to it. Okay. That should help with his needs, too. What is he doing? Oh, writing in his diary. Does he have max creativity? Oh, no. Okay, so get a point from that. Kaylin has been sent by her employer, Hypnotico, to cure a rich industrialist of his fear of golfing. <laughs> An associate in Hypnotico's research laboratory has used his spare time to develop a new method of hypnotic cure and approaches Kaylin, offering to share credit for his development if Kaylin agrees to use this opportunity to test it in the field. Should Kaylin break protocol and risk, tr risk trying a new method, or should she report her associate for unorthodox procedures? Okay. I think Kaylin is a risk taker. I mean, she took a big risk on Daniel. She did take a she took a big risk on Daniel and she she keeps wanting to have more children. I think she's a risk taker at heart. She's going to use the new method. Okay. Kaylin begins to use the experimental procedure and is horrified as the industrialist shrieks and leaks to the floor, curling up in a fetal position and yelling 4-4. Four, four. Kaylin realizes that he has become, in his own mind, a golf ball. <gasps> no amount of reapplication of the standard method seemed to work, and Kaylin's forced to call her supervisor and bring an emergency specialist and sadly goes back to Hypnotico to clear out her desk. <gasps> Kaylin, you were supposed to get promoted today and you got fired. Oh, no. Oh no, Kaylin, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, girl. But don't don't worry. Don't worry. You can you can get another you can get a new job. New job, same same level at a different firm. We've got this. We've got this. Okay, where is it? Pleasant View Career Services. We've got this, Kaylin. Don't panic. It's going to be okay. Dang, I thought I was going to get her a promotion this round. Poor Kaylin. I mean, not all risks pan out, you know. Not all risks pan out. She's a risk taker, so it didn't pan out this time. Poor freaking thing. Mm, my heart hurts for her. Um, okay, so she needs a new job in Paranormal. Yep, take the tarot card reader job. You'll have to get up to level four again, but you'll get there quick. Okay. Um, 18 to one. So if you go home, you can still go to work today. And you can still get back to level four. So it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. We're going to get back to where she was. Very quickly. Because Daniel has today off, so it's no big deal. Okay. What is Daniel doing? Oh, he's he's writing in his diary. That's right. Gosh, poor Kaylin. I feel so bad for her. Okay, she's back. <sighs> oh, she wants to get a kid and her puppy. Oh my gosh. Uh, slow dance. Let's slow dance with Daniel. Mm 
Okay, we do have to stop the slow dance because we need to get Zane on the potty. Probably gonna miss it again. Uh, yeah, Daniel can talk in a second. Okay, we made it! Um, she wants to play with the worm rat? Okay. All right, the kids are all just watching TV, I guess. Oh, he wants to do his homework. What about you? Oh, you want to do your homework too. Okay. Okay, let's watch some TV. I think that might be what you need, Kaylin. You need to veg out before you go do this next job. You can't do homework because you're no not enough fun. Okay, join. Just watch TV. Okay. Don't worry, Caitlin, because you're about to get a promotion back to exactly where you were. Okay, yeah, his fun's going up. Okay, now you should be able to do your homework. Okay, it's 6 p.m. It's past 6 p.m. Okay. It's cake time. It's time for the cake. All right, let's do party. And we're going to need another cake as well. Okay. You, come, blow out candles. You also... Oh, let's do like this. Okay. Can we get them to go at the same time? Dual party. Okay, there we go. Happy birthday, kids! Happy birthday! So cute! <laughs> okay! Alright, there we go! Go on, Zane! Oh, that's right! For Jeff, we have to choose. We have to choose. Okay. So, Jeff's dad, Daniel, is a romance and fortune sim. And his mom, Kaylin, is a family and pleasure sim. Okay, let's see. Turn offs, gray hair. <laughs> Turn ons, sporty and very professional. Okay, so this definitely seems like he's got kind of a love hate thing going on with his dad. I think that um, I think that he's a fortune sim because his dad is like secondary fortune. So I think that's what we've got. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. No more no more babies. It's all it's children, children and teens now. Everybody can have some cake. Okay, and we don't need all the baby stuff anymore. Thank God. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do with this room over here, but something. We don't need any of this. It is useless to us. Get out of this house. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Everybody have some cake. Everybody have some cake. And y'all can relax tonight. Is everybody's needs good? He needs to use the bathroom. There. Needs good, needs good. Oh, they're watching TV, so their fun's gonna go up. Oh, he's kind of hungry. Have some more cake, my dude. It's your birthday. You can have cake. Okay, that should get their fun going where it should be. Yeah, they took up all the seats, though. All the kids took up all the seats. There's nothing left for you, Dad. Sorry. Oh, he's gonna swap with you. That's so nice. Oh, congratulating him on growing up well. He's so proud of you. He's so proud of you. Wait, you need to fill Gron's spoon dish. Oh, because he's a teenager now. He wants to buy the stupid things. Okay, let's do walk to lot, community lot. No one needs to go with you, you're good. Oh, and we gotta go to cold issue clothing. There we go. Oh, they're napping. <laughs> I guess I'll send everyone to bed whenever we get back from buying the teenager items. <laughs> Okay, so since we've got the MP3 player locked, we're gonna get the handheld game. So buy handheld game. Um, yep, buy the handheld. All right, and then buy the MP3 player. And then we'll buy the cell phone. Yep, he's not going to roll it. Okay. Oh, um, we want to do... Oh my gosh. Stop going so fast. I pressed the button I shouldn't have pressed. Okay, walk home. Man, this is some pop punk at the Warp Tour for sure song that is playing right now. I hope that it lets me... That YouTube doesn't hate it and demonetize this one. I got away with it on the legacy. All the legacy videos from yesterday, YouTube didn't have any issues. It didn't try to tell me I was ineligible or demonetized or anything like that, so that was nice. Okay. Let's send everybody to bed. Uh, you... Oh, you sleep downstairs. Wake up from your nap. Use the bathroom and go to bed. Daniel, you also go to bed. Wake up. Y'all fell asleep in front of the TV. It's okay. There's no shame in it. I have done this many, many times in my life. It is okay. Sometimes recliners are just too comfortable. They're just too comfortable. Okay, he's home. Um, he can go to bed too. All right, 
Just waiting for Kaylin. There's Kaylin. Oh my gosh. Her needs are so bad. Okay. Let's take care of a few of the easy ones. I guess because her needs were so bad, she didn't get the promotion. Even though she's, like, ready for it. Go to sleep, though. Yeah. Oh, and she doesn't work on Tuesday. Okay. Poor Kaylin. Her needs. Her poor needs. Everybody sleep in. Oh, Daniel's awake. Okay. He wants to read a novel. He wants Jeff to get a scholarship. Good reputation. Sim okay. Oh, he got that point. He almost had it before. Okay, it is 6 a.m. on Tuesday. That means that's it for Daniel Pleasant. Let's save. All right. So for those watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, um, oh my gosh, uh, poor Kaylin, she got fired, but we had a lot of the, the kids grow up and no more kids for these this couple. We're just having the three. We're gonna try to put them all through college for Kaylin. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.